Okay, so you decided to stick around for this final video. Uh, what we're going to do is make this just a tad more useful. We're going to turn these titles of the time entries into links that will take us to the display page for those time entries so the user can edit an entry, delete an entry, and do what they need to there. This turns out to be fairly painless. What we need to do is go back into SharePoint Designer. We want to go back to our display form for the issue, and we need to go in to look at the code for our data view web part. And what I want you to do is find in that data view web part where we are inserting the title in that row. So whenever it iterates and creates that list, it's going to put the title in there. And here's what that line looks like. It's XSL value of select title. Okay? So find that in that data view web part. I'm not going to wait for you because you can just pause the video, but find that. Once you do, all we want to do here is turn this into a link. This is really is just HTML. So we do a href equals, it even lets us pick a URL. So if we click this, we want to go into our time list and we want to go to the display form, right? So click OK. And what we also want to do is we need to pass in the query string variable of the time entry. So what's that query string variable again? For a display item, it is ID. It's always ID. And that is going to be equal to, because this is part of the state of view web part, and we're inserting a row, it's going to be at ID. And that is going to contain the value of the ID we need. All right? We just need to close off this link properly and save our page. Make sense? So now we come back to our page, let's refresh it, and look, they're links. If we hover over them, if you had the status bar in the video, which I decided to cut off, you would see the IDs are there. So let's click on one. Entry with hidden ID. Click on it, look, it takes us to our view, entry with hidden ID. We can now edit this, delete it, whatever we want to to it. All right? Well, that's pretty much all I have for you. Um, again, if you have any questions, let me know. Um, hopefully you learned something. Thanks again.